Over the past 21 years, Seniors in Service has provided over 3 million hours of help, compassion, and loving mentorship to seniors and children in Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Polk Counties. The greatest part of our work is recruiting, training, and placing our volunteers with those who need them the most, such as at-risk or special needs children who need help and compassion in order to reach their full potential. Or with our elderly citizens who need an occasional helping hand so that they can maintain their independence and remain in their homes. Daily, Seniors in Service positively impacts the lives of 1,700 of our community's children and elderly through the foster grandparent, senior companion, and our Faith in Action programs. You could say that the motto of Seniors in Service is, it is through giving that we receive. I look forward to this. When I'm off, I'll be off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'll be scuffing trying to get here on Monday morning to see my kids, because I'll be kind of lonesome around the house. It's difficult for 79-year-old foster grandparent Elizabeth Robinson to contain her enthusiasm for her work at Easter Seals Head Start program in Tampa. This energetic elder puts in about 20 hours a week doing what she loves most, spending time with her foster grandson, Keith. Today, Elizabeth is patiently helping Keith with an art project, but her work here is all but fun and games. Elizabeth is also helping Keith learn to read and write. Yeah, you made a K up there, and so I made a T right there. Having this special attention from his foster grandmother has helped Keith flourish all around, and Elizabeth proudly reports the results. I told his mother the other day, I said, the older he get, the better he is. When he tell him when I be talking to the other kids, he goes over and try to make them do right, like he's a big boy. This pairing of partners is a win-win situation all around, and the feelings of love are mutual. Because I love her. And I love being with the kids. Seniors age 60 and older provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring, encouragement, and supervision of special needs children so they can achieve success in school and life. The volunteers serve elementary schools, after-school programs, and nonprofit daycare centers at over 80 sites in three counties. Income-qualified seniors receive a modest $2.65 stipend, which allows seniors to participate in community service by removing financial barriers. Go ahead and fill that out. And today, the post office and Walmart. Zeno Thurst and senior companion Vernell Foster are getting down to business. Today, they're going over a list of things that Zeno needs her to do for him. Zeno's advanced medical condition keeps him from being able to leave his home and do things for himself. Having Vernell's help has been a godsend for Zeno. She's his link to the outside world. So she gets my mail. I need medications. I need groceries. Any shopping, she does all of that for me. Along with all of this help comes an added bonus, Vernell's companionship. As you see, I'm here by myself most of the time. So just a friendly conversation helps me start the day off. Vernell is modest about her role as a senior companion. For her, being kind and compassionate just comes naturally. If nothing else, they need someone to tell their problems to, how they feel, and uh, you do little things for them. They don't ask much. Yeah, it just, and I just enjoy being with them. If it wasn't for her, I'd have to be in a home somewhere. I could not, could not live here by myself. And it's the help I need. It's the only thing that's keeping me going. Seniors age 60 and older provide companionship and assistance to homebound elderly or disabled adults so they retain their independence and ability to stay in their homes as long as possible.
Income qualified seniors receive a modest $2.65 stipend, which allows seniors to participate in community service by removing any financial barriers. It's Thursday afternoon and Dorothy Nichols is eagerly awaiting the arrival of Faith in Action volunteer Susan Boyd. Yay! Hey, good to see you. All right. Yeah. yeah. You want to come on in? Twice a month for the past three months, Susan and Dorothy have sat in this warm, sunny kitchen going through Dorothy's bills for the last two weeks. We have to make sure we get everything done, documented here. Doing the work together is important for Dorothy, who wants to retain her sense of independence when it comes to making her own decisions. Uh, I have Alzheimer's for about three years, and uh, I'm going to an Alzheimer's once a month thing. And the person who was head of that decided I needed some help. So I, I had trouble getting my bills paid. I, figures I have mean nothing to me. My nephew did it for a while, and I didn't like that situation. He didn't like what I was doing, and I thought, well, shoot, I'm going to get somebody else who knows what she's doing and will listen to me. I didn't do the duplicate, so you have to write over it, the duplicate. It's in there. Susan, a retired IBM manager, couldn't stand the thought of not being busy after retirement, but volunteering for just any cause would not do for Susan. She wanted to make an impact on people's lives. Oh, it makes you feel some, you know, like you're doing something that counts. There are a lot of volunteer jobs that you, you can't see the results, and I like to see results. And you know, knowing that that I'm helping Dorothy and helping her to be able to stay in her own home is really means a lot to me. All right, all right, Dorothy. When, when, when will you be back? Again? I'll be back in two weeks. Yeah. So far, Dorothy has managed to stay in her home thanks to Susan and seniors in service. I think it's real important that people figure out good ways to spend their time and. We all know lots of ways to waste it. Bye-bye. See you next week. Okay. Bye-bye. This is a locally initiated program that has over 50 community volunteers that provide bill payer services, in-home support, and assistance to the elderly. The program was created by a coalition of 16-plus social service organizations and faith-based congregations. There are no age or income limitations to volunteers, and the volunteers can work as many hours as they wish.